looks like our Jessica is absolutely starving, to the point where all diets and restrictions are out the window. She's desperate to put anything in her stomach to keep her from fainting from hunger, but the fridge is empty and the cupboards are bare. Ew. What's to be done to quiet the grumbling and growling of her stomach? and it looks like Ashley and Rachel are ready for a bite to eat as well. Or perhaps more than a bite. But what to order? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if all those pictures of delicious food are hurting or helping the situation here. So much to choose from. But Jessica has remembered her secret stash. Something sweet to tide her over. Nice find, Jess. Sorry, girls. It's each man for himself when you're hungry. And wha-bam. Just like that, Chef Kira has appeared to save the day. The surprises have only just begun for you ladies. Shall we begin? Uh -huh. Each of you will have to complete a task after the draw, and don't expect them to be easy. We're going to find out what you're willing to do for food. So open up your folders, and looks like Jessica has to take a bite, Rachel gets a pass, and mm. Ashley has to lick something. And here's her first dish. Fish topped with whipped cream. Yummy in your tummy. I wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole. More for you guys. Ashley, brave as always, gets in there. But I'm not sure she'll be keeping that down. But hey, it counts for a first try. You're up, Jess. Take a big old bite or go hungry. Choice is yours. No! Okay, stop. No, can't let that happen. And the fish has turned into a hunk of broccoli. Not a bad swap. At least it doesn't stink. Round two. Let's see who's doing what this time and take a look at what at least one of you will be sinking your teeth into. Could be worse, right? All right, Jessica will sit this one out. Rachel, prepare your chompers. And Ashley, again? Let's start, hungry ladies. Oh. Ashley, we know you're brave and there's really nothing to fear about licking an eggshell. Rachel was lucky in the first round, but now we'll see what you're made of. Oh no! Come on. Oh. Ooh, crunchy. Wow, that is less than appetizing to say the least. Good thing it was Rachel and not us. Well done, Rach. Can you feel the suspense? What's waiting for our lovely ladies in round three? Well, come on, lift it up and take a look already. Who's gonna be the brave one? Ew, cat food. Chef Kira, you are worse than a ruthless, uncaring cafeteria lady. But rules are rules and the game must be played. Take your tasks, everyone. Jessica will have to lick this feline delicacy. Rach is to get a mouthful and Ashley, thank your lucky stars. All right, Jess, you're up first. Pull it together and get your turn over with. Who knows, could turn out to be not that bad. Good going. Just keep telling yourself that later for a prize you can eat something nice. Like cake, maybe? <laughs> what is that noise? A siren? What's going on? Oh, I see. Rachel is to be punished for refusing to participate. A little brain scrambling for you, Missy. How you feeling there? Let's not waste time and get right down to it. I can see you're all chomping at the bit to start round four. Take one more look to find your next dish. Okay, this is super strange, and I'm not altogether sure what that is exactly. It's rubbery jello? I'm afraid not. Oh, that's a plate of slime for you to sample. All right, Jess, you are safe. Rachel will have to take a bite, and Ashley has her usual task again. No going back now, friends. Ashley, channel your inner cat and give it a lick. Hey! Will you survive? Probably not too bad after everything else you've had to do. Oh no! Good luck and perhaps goodbye, Rachel. We'll never forget you. Yuck. How awful! But you did it! Impressive! Lift the lid. And it's a cupcake. Finally, you girls have something to cheer about. Let's sort out who's the winner winner chicken dinner. All right, Jess. 
mix them up and hand them out. Jessica takes the cake, Rachel will be left hungry, and Ashley, same as always, dear. Ashley, leave me at least a tiny bit, okay? Looks like Ashley is going all out this time. If she could, she might flick away the whole treat, and the tray for good matter, too. Something's not right. Is it spicy? Uh-oh. Well, you gave Jessica a heads up on what to avoid there. She has to take a big bite and then swallow it down too. But with all the suspicious frosting gone, Jessica is left with the yummy cake and nothing more. Isn't that nice? On that happy note, let's keep on trucking. With each round, everything gets more frightening and stressful, huh, girls? What is waiting for you three this time? Let's sort out your assignments first. And nothing. Lick. Bite. Wait, cake again? This can't be true. Come on, Jess, you've already had your turn for a treat. Now let the other two enjoy a little something. Go for it already, Rach. Lick away before someone else does. Mm. And now that cake's online. Hey, that's not fair at all. Your task was just to lick. Oh, it looks like it's too late. No stopping them now. When you're hungry, friendship and rules can often be left behind. Unlike even the smallest crumbs from that piece of cake. Tasty? Well, thank goodness for that. Well, what do you think it'll be this time? Trick or treat? What? A cactus? Oh, this is not going to be easy like the last round. All right, ladies, you know what comes next. You think switching up the folders again will save you? Don't be such scaredy cats. Ew. Ashley is finally off the hook for this one. Jessica picked licking and Rachel ended up with the hardest task. No. Jess, you go first. No. Wow. How are you doing that, Jess? Doesn't that hurt like crazy? There's no way. Wait a minute, Faker, your tongue. Nice move, Missy. You could take that act to the circus if you wanted. Well, we'll say it counts. Rachel, time to step up and open up. Pull yourself together and show us what you're made of. Stop! This is just a game, after all. Here's a prize for your bravery. You two, this is mine. Whoops, should have been more generous. Now look what's happening. And from here, we can safely assume it will only get worse. Well, bon appetit, everyone. Careful there. And our head chef has something for everyone watching at home as well. Mmm. Don't forget to subscribe. Mmm. Tasty. Time for the medal presentation and handshaking with all the stars of our show. A job well done to one and all. Enjoy your cookie necklaces. Not too quickly. Save it for when you guys are hungry again. Rachel, nice work. Mm. Although you did skip out on one challenge. Yeah. All right, I know you're rather proud mm. of yourself and want to hold your head up high, but... Do us a favor and bend down a bit, Ash. Thank you. Well, ladies, you've done it. The tests are officially over. Pretty good challenges, though, right? Who's ready to go again? Ooh. Becky, Brad, and Maggie are all terribly hungry and can't wait to eat. On the menu is a small burger, a medium one, and a massive option that looks like it's got about 100 layers. Guys, calm down. The waitress can't make out a word you're saying. Oh. Mm. Whoa. But there you go. <gasps> what? Uh -huh. It turns out manners are a big deal in this restaurant. Maybe it's time to send them on a challenge. Mm. Phew. Friendly quiet. Wow. Uh -huh. This is much more interesting than sitting in a cafe. Aww. Becky got the double cheeseburger, but Brad is the big winner. Can you even count how many patties there are? Stop your pouting, Maggie. An ordinary burger is better than none at all. 
And yet she's gotten herself so upset, she's lost her appetite. Mm. Becky knows how to appreciate the little things, however. <laughs> Brad is ready to attack his feet of a burger. Mm. You can't have a care in the world when your mouth is full of something as amazing as the biggest burger ever. Huh? Oh. Mm. Mm. Ta da! Wow, Japanese cuisine. What do you think of those? The cards decide who gets what. Becky is looking at one layer, 10 for Brad, and a whopping 100 for Maggie. Becky looks longingly at her plate, but she's got so little. Brad would happily switch with her. The guy hates fish. Oh no. Maggie, is that more to your liking? Or are you not a fan of seafood either? Mm. Becky would gladly take it off your hands. Mm. Oh man, that's delicious. Mm. The other two are in shock. They can't believe Becky likes it. Still have to try it, guys. Oh. Mm. Uh. Huh? Brad gave it the old college try. What? But oh. it's just not for him. Huh. Ew. Becky is ready to help out BT Dubs. Mm. Yes. Well, Maggie, you're up. You've got a mountain of rice to get through. Hope you're hungry. Mm. Huh. Mm. Mm. It was a nice idea, hon, but I think any size of chopsticks are going to help. <laughs> what? Ooh. Our girl gets down to business and quick as a flash eats half. <laughs> what do we have this time? Place your bets. Waffles! Everyone's favorite. Whoa, Maggie's got the most again. A whole tower. But Becky's barely got the ground floor. Brad isn't thinking about the others. He simply eats his portion with a smile on his face. Um, Maggie? Maybe slow down a tad? You've got plenty and they're not going anywhere. What? What? Oh. oh. Nope. She keeps chewing away like it's her last meal on earth. Wow. Oh. Huh? Wow. Hmm. This time hiding under the lid is. Oh. Lasagna. <laughs> Maggie, how much did you get? Not what you were hoping for? Let's look. Maggie got the smallest serving of all, so she's got no room to complain. What? Oh. Brad is attacking his plate with gusto. He's barely coming up for air. And Becky chews and swallows, chews and swallows. Good job. Take a deep breath, guys. You did it. Crepes, nice. Becky is thrilled she's been served the big dish. Becky is on cloud nine. Brad, just one? Tough break. Maggie, 10 is nothing to shake a stick at. Brad, stop with a long face. Wait, there are sauces too? Ooh. Becky has her fave, apricot jam. Now that's amazing. Mm. Uh 
While Maggie prepared her spread, Brad tries to swipe some of her treats away. What? Mm, sorry, big guy. Maggie doesn't mess around when it comes to food. Brad dips his sad little crepe into some chocolate with a frown. Huh? <laughs> but the rest of us, we're smiling. <laughs> Namely at the look on Brad's hmm. face. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Toast with Nutella. Who else is drooling? <gasps> mm. Maggie, 10 layers. Happy. Mm. Becky is the winner winner chicken dinner again. Mm. And Brad gets the least. Aww. Not all of us are born lucky. But could Brad catch a break here? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> He sadly chomps into his lonely piece of bread, though he should be happy he's got that much. Some would say he's being rather ungrateful. Have at it, Maggie. It's delicious. Whoa. And we thought that Maggie was messy? Look at what Becky is doing. The chocolate has sent her on a sugar high. What? Oh, no. Run away, guys. Uh. A little added mystery. Hey, veggie sandwiches. Who's a fan? Mm. Let's see who got what. <laughs> Everyone is smiling from ear to ear. They must be jazzed about a healthy course. Our trio is really enjoying their final dishes, and as well they should. So yummy. To be honest, I wouldn't say no to one of those sandwiches if I was offered one. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Mm. Man, oh man, do I love gummy bears. The best thing about these little guys is their different colors and flavors. No denying that. But where there are pros, there are also cons. And gummy bears are sadly just so small. Before you know it, the bag is already completely empty. And that's why the most precious bear of all is the last bear standing. Mm. Oh, awesome! <gasps> Yummy, chewy gummy bears. Thanks for sharing, Ben. Oh, I hadn't actually planned on divvying up anything, Jess. Too late now. Whoa, would you look at this beauty? This is no baby cub, but a full grown grizzly bear gummy. Hey there, big guy. Ready to make my day? Ben, what about me? Couldn't you spare one tiny paw? Hmm, nope. Sorry, Jess. You already took your share. Is that so? Then let it be war. Tug of war. Give me a piece. Stop it. You're hurting him. He's mine. Just look at what you've done. I tore myself off a nice hunk. That's what. I'll start with this ear. Ben, you have got to try this. Yum. Oh, I'm gonna try it, all right. I'll try the whole thing. No more for you today, missy. I'll get you back for that later. I doubt that I'll ever come to regret this decision, but thanks for the warning anyways. Can you believe him? He scarfed down the entire thing in like one bite. You should be worried you'll burst. What a shame there are so few Mentos in a pack. 
I hear you, Jess. But I'm afraid I can't share your pain since I've gotten myself a much grander version of what you're looking at in your hands. Check this out. It's like the friggin' horn of plenty in here. Ben, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it, Jess. Dive in! Gotta grab just as many as I can fit in my hands, and then just a bit more. This insane minty storm is officially kicking off. Let's do this. Hold your horses over there. This candy-coated race has only just begun. I can't get enough of these minty pillows. Mentos are the best medicine for everything. Once I finish chewing this mouthful, I'll be ready for another one. I can't wait to find out what else is waiting for us today. Whoa. Snickers, ah, oh, that's what I needed. What about me? Or am I not part of the challenge anymore? Oh, no more questions from me. Ben, have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Why do you get served the best things? Because I deserve them, duh. I work hard, but you… Actually, let's not open that can of worms. No offense. I couldn't have imagined it in my wildest dreams I'd ever get to unwrap a chocolate bar this wow. amazing. Not sure how I'm going to finish it, but I will. Mm, life can't get any better than it is right now. All right. I can't take this torture anymore. Look out, Jess. I'm coming in. Back off, Ben. If I'm not mistaken, you were given a Snickers bar too. You should be happy with what you got. This is mine. You really think you can tackle all that by yourself? I can and I will. You can't. Just let me help you. Uh-oh, bombs away. Well, what do you have to say for yourself now, Jess? I say, all hands on board. It won't eat itself. You know what, Ben? They say to each their own, but I'm thinking we're both enjoying this immensely. And thank goodness for that. Sometimes life just ain't fair. One person has a whole bar of Hershey's chocolate and the other, nothing at all. Tough break, Ben. I'm afraid you're throwing a pity party for the wrong person, Jess. I think you know just why that is, too. Well, aren't you sneaky? Well, come on, open it already. I see you can't wait to feast your eyes on all this chocolate. But don't look directly at it, or your eyes may just jump out of their sockets. Someone pinch me in quick. I must be dreaming. This can't be true. Or maybe Willy Wonka is a real person and he made this? Enough with the hypotheses. Just sink your teeth into this miracle and forget about everything else. That I can do. Just try and keep up with me, Ben, or I'm coming for your half next. This is the absolute best day of my life. Who knew I'd ever get to karate chop chocolate? Now we both have our pieces. No trading and no asking for more. Capiche? Fine by me. And nice hit, by the way. Get that from your hours of playing Mortal Kombat? Actually, yes. What, do you think it was all just smashing buttons? Nope, it's the art of war. Put a sock in it, Padawan. Oh, I'm in seventh heaven. Look, Jess. I've got another big hunk of chocolatey goodness. What? Big, did you say? You might want to rethink your word choice. <gasps> Chocolate milk a milk. What I wouldn't give to make a trade with you. Ugh, what is it with this thing? Is it welded shut? I'd be happy to help you out if you promise to share the spoils with me. One, two, three. Great teamwork, Ben. Just take a whiff of that. That's the smell dreams are made of. Remember our deal, uh, to split it? Mm, sorry, man, but I don't recall any such agreement. Okay, Jess, shall we begin? 
I wonder if I can chug down this whole thing at once. Only one way to find out. I'm going for a record. Hmm. Thirsting for a solo record, Miss Greedy? Something tells me that won't happen. Bottoms up, Jess. It's a chocolate flood. Stop right this instant, you jerk! <gasps> Just look at what you've done! I'm dripping with chocolate milk! Hey, you always like it when people say you're a sweet girl, and now you are! Excuse me, but I think I'll get back to my little treat now, and I prefer to enjoy it in silence. Sure, of course, but this is going to come back to bite you. My revenge will be sweet. Hey there, chupa choops! This guy will grant me a whole 20 minutes of happiness. What about happiness that lasts a full 24 hours? I don't believe it. Do they really make them like this? You betcha they do, Ben. And you, troublemaker, won't get a lick of it. <clears throat> Gotta start somewhere. <sighs> mm, how many licks to get to the center of this? And what am I supposed to do? Just sit here and watch her get a sugar high? No way. So sorry, Jess, but I just can't help myself when it comes to candy. I have to take action. <gasps> Don't you dare! I barely made a dent. Mm. This thing is hard as a rock. It's still no match for my mighty hammer. See ya, sucker. Oops. It was yours, now it's nobody's. Nothing but pebbles. Farewell, sweet candy. I'll never forget you, not ever. Oh, I think I'm the winner this round with my giant bag of marshmallows. Think again, Jess, cause I've got a giant tub of marshmallow fluff. Yeah, well, that's just fine. I've got enough here to last me all day. <laughs> no! Why me? Why am I so strong? Why did they all fly away? Aw, oh, so sad for you, Jess. What a bummer that your treat has flown right by you. But me, I've got an amazing, gooey, sugary cloud ahead of me. A massive container of marshmallow fluff. Ben, you were in this. Oh. I probably should have grabbed myself a spoon, but I can't wait a second longer. I'll have to do without. I'm drooling with envy, Ben. I have got to have a taste of that. Ben, sweet, kind, handsome Ben. Spare a dollop for your best friend? No need to even ask, man. There's plenty to go around. Well, as long as no one else wants in, that's true. This is all for you and me. I can die and go to heaven if the clouds are made of this stuff, you know? Well, it sure wouldn't hurt. Finger licking good. Good thing I've got 10 fingers. 